I'll go up. Whoa! This will be a normal rehouse video, I swear. You see, I already made the backgrounds for these enclosures. So don't worry, we won't be cutting any styrofoam now. You can turn on the volume, trust me. That Monday's video was kinda like a joke, but I noticed that I never had such a division in comments. Some of you loved Monday's video and some of you hated it so much. Don't worry, it was just for lols. I won't be switching to that type of content. Now, for this video, this normal rehouse video, we will rehouse up in Eugenius Violatios. She's there behind you, see? She already made two unfertilized egg sac, so I definitely need to find a boyfriend for her. And the other one, there is no label, but it is Stereopagopus species Hati Hati. We featured her in multiple videos, she was always out and about, we usually get a nice feeling clip from her, but this girl, ever since I rehoused her two years ago, I have never seen her fully outside, never, not even once. And she is now much, much bigger than she was when I put her in there. Therefore, two new enclosures. And this, ladies and gentlemen, this is my brand new enclosure design, and I think it's the final one. This was test version 1, this is test version 2. And soon test version 3 will come. And it will be black. I don't really like this white color on this. But what is so cool about this enclosure? This one is plexiglass, but that was just for the test. This one is actual glass. And when you look at it, there is nothing visually interfering with between you and tarantula inside. No holes, no hinges, no magnets or anything. Just Plain straight white glass, I mean not white glass, transparent glass. And within this there is a unique locking mechanism that I think it's the best solution for an uh, enclosure of this type. You see this little handle? This is where you open it, but if you pull, nothing is happening, you cannot open this. It is fixed, you see? You cannot open it. But with tiny little... Look, and now... Voila! It opens just like that. You see nothing holding it. Nothing, just simple clever design. And to close it off, just click. And that's it. Locked, once again. I won't go into greater detail on how this is working. I still need to fix few issues, but you see it is very nice. I will just tell you that I applied for a patent for this design. Because I think it's simple and unique. And it works, finally something that I'm satisfied. Now let's set this enclosure up and rehouse these girls inside. We are first going to set this one, first version, but this one is not as good as this one. First we are starting with clay balls. As you know, this is the drainage layer. And by now I noticed that a lot of you remember this. And in the last two builds I didn't use clay balls. And I have seen comments asking why. The reason is those enclosures are set up for tarantulas that don't require huge humidity inside. The substrate doesn't need to be moist, so therefore there is no, no excess moisture that will go in the drainage layer. Therefore the drainage layer is not needed. But for these two, they need a bit more humidity. Plastic mesh to separate the substrate from the drainage layer. And now the substrate. Now, how to set this up? For Tapinohenius violaceus, they do similar thing like Salopeus tarantulas. They make a web curtain and then add a bunch of substrate on that curtain. Therefore, they don't really need a cork bark, like a cork bark tube, but instead they just need some anchor points so they can make a web curtain. So I was thinking just putting a flat piece of cork bark inside and maybe a piece of branch or some wood like this one that I used in the last video. I used a piece of this in the last video. And then a piece of bark. Like this, you see. Now Tarantula got plenty of anchoring points to make itself a hide. And also I want to put this plant inside. And I'll put it like somewhere here. Perfect. Now I will add a bit more subside on the back. I always like to make a slope. It adds a certain depth to it. Now leaf litter. Just sprinkle that all around. I think we just need a nice twig or two. And thankfully I have a few. <laughs> I'll just add it to the back. So it is like growing from the background. You gotta love it. Let me close it off. Uh, 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 very nice. Now Tarantula will probably hide here and just close it off with web. 
the time will tell, but I'm certain about that. Let's get it outside. Now she is right here and I think I won't have any problem getting her outside, but she can be bolty and also bitey, so I'm not sure if I want her to get on my hand. And she is already showing off her booty. But look, no, you cannot really see it from here, but you will see on top. She got beautiful color. I will put it on tripod and take a catch cup, just in case. Hey, sweetie, are you ready for new enclosure? Yeah, just be, just be chilled and we will do this easy. Although I don't like her fangs there. You see? Ooh. <laughs> she keeps her fangs so spread, look. She is not happy. Not happy at all. Ungrateful, I would say. Please. Let's go. Let's go. Move it, move it. Inside the cup. Oh no. She's just kiting me around that, this piece of wood. Maybe I can put it like that so she cannot go behind. Yeah, actually she can go behind. How can we settle this? <laughs> I think I outsmarted her. You feel dumb now, right? <laughs> Let's get her now. Up you go, up you go. There. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Wanna go out, maybe? There, yes! Fast, fast, fast! Let's get a camera so I can show her. Don't hide immediately. There is her in your enclosure. Go, go, explore! <laughs> no, behind the plant! Damn! I cannot see her good. <laughs> her legs. <laughs> yeah, that's the... That is the spot where you can make your hide. Do you like it back there? It would be cool now if she continues up. Like if I touch her a bit. Yes, there. Now you can see her well, yeah. That's what I wanted. Looks really nice, right? Even when she is not under direct light. Under direct light she got even brighter color. Like look from here. Well, it is not that much brighter in all honesty, but still looks so cool an interesting feature you see on her abdomen she got like two holes it reminds me of some fruit spiders they also have holes on the abdomen like that hmm. what are you doing with your fangs should we try and feed her she is really feisty so maybe she will take it let's see it whoa she missed the roach she went for tweezers but now she feels the roach did you get it yes <laughs> Good appetite inside of your new home. Let's quickly set the other enclosure and see what is her mood because she's Asian tarantula and you can never really know what is up with them. Stop, stop. Happy dance. <laughs> it sure looked like a happy dance, but she stopped now. I will keep my eye on her. Now this next enclosure, it will be basically the same. The only difference is that I will just lean a cork bark on the background. You will see. So the standard procedure, clay balls, mesh, substrate, cork bark, leaf litter, and I forgot springtails. Once again I forgot springtails. I need to edit after I set this enclosure. You know springtails, tiny little bugs that clean the enclosure. They eat most of the nasty stuff. So it is really good to have them in humid enclosures. So as I said, I will just take this cork bark, put it inside of the substrate and lean it on the background. Ciriopagopus hati hati from what I have seen, it behaves similarly like Lampropelma viola ceopes. And as you know, I made a new enclosure for my female and she just went behind the cork bark. So that's why there is no cork bark tube, but instead she can go behind and do whatever she wants to do. And I think that I will add one bromeliad on the back or maybe better not, but I want something. I will put this plant, this is the same plant that Linda got in her enclosure and it is the plant that she destroyed, shame on her. Hopefully this girl won't do the same thing. Leaf litter, you see how enclosure with leaf litter immediately looks more prettier and natural. 
At least if you ask me, that's what I would say. Must not forget about springtails. Little heroes of every bioactive enclosure. And also in this other enclosure. Now this enclosure is finished. Time to see the mood of this girl and I'm not looking forward to it. This can potentially be really nasty. So wish me luck. You see down there, there's a leg and booty and pair of spinnerets of course. Let's see what is her reaction to soft touch. No reaction, almost no reaction. Okay, so far so good. That was actually a rather calm reaction. I'm going to try to remove the dead wood from the background, as it is hot glued. So just... Oof, it's holding really good. Yeah, there is a nice line of hot glue holding this wood. Not the best thing at the moment. Then let's just remove the, the webbing and substrate and everything. This white thing that you can see in the substrate that is actually sand that I added. Okay, now I can see the tarantula. You see her down there? She's wondering where is her roof. But man, she looks so nice. If I can only show it better. Come on, hands, calm down. Everything will be all right. She's being pretty passive. I will try to push her up. Do you want to cooperate with me? <laughs> you just go forward, up, and I will guide you guide you to your new house. I think I will do it like this. I'm using my left hand now and that is not my most precise hand. Come on girl, just move. Come on, you can do it. She's so sweet and so big, I cannot believe how big she is. She was a tiny sling when I put her inside. She's even bigger than Violaceopis female. Oh my god, look at her. Can you see her? I hope you can. Oh, 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 red alert, red alert, catch cup, catch cup, oh my god, you need to see this, look at her, and now thankfully to this mesh on the background, we can actually measure her, after when I edit the video I can actually spot her size, but no, 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 I need you to go in the other direction, other direction, here, How can I? I'll go up. Whoa! <laughs> from where did that came from? I just want you to go inside of your enclosure, nothing else. Okay, it is time to cup her. <laughs> Whoa, man. <laughs> it was just a bluff. Okay, 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 okay. And I think that we are ready. There! Now you are almost there. Check out the stripes on the abdomen. She kinda reminds me of Hilobrachis fimbriatus. Just a tiny bit. Because of that abdomen pattern. And adult Lampropella violaceopis. I think they also got stripes like this on the back. Let's go! Final move. Come on, you're not a rock. You're not fooling anyone. From brief threat posture to... I don't wanna move like at all. Please just continue straight. What is this? I'm pushing her really hard and she doesn't want to move. You see if this was my finger I would easily be petting her but I don't want to risk it. I really need to lift her and push her and yes finally. There you go. You are inside of the new enclosure. <laughs> Enjoy it. That's an order. I think I'm like the Violatius female, she will not be exploring her enclosure. She will just stand there for who knows how long. And actually the OBT that I rehoused in last video. I was expecting that she will web a lot in first night, so I put a camera and set it on time lapse. And during the whole night she basically didn't move. That's it, nothing else. She webbed a bit now and I can actually show you. Let me update you on that. She's being kept here with other Pterinochilus. Terinochilus lugardi female in here. Check out what she did. This is everything. Everything that she did. Only that corner and she is inside, you see her? Nothing else. She didn't touch the rest of the enclosure, but I guess 
with time that will change they are her legs <laughs> now with that being said it is time to end this video if you liked it you know comment thumbs up if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe up already monday and friday so see you again soon bye, -bye.